Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial we are going to see, how to create, cinematic trailer title in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. To create this trailer title, you need to have installed, the Saba plugin. Saba plugin is available for free, you can download it from the link given in the description. Here you can see, I have already imported the Metal Grunge media file, you can download this, from link given in the description. So now without any wait, let's start creating the trailer title. Create a new composition. Name it as trailer title. Here we will set time duration to just 3 seconds. Remaining all will be same. Perfect. Let's add the text. For this title, we will use the Bibbers font. Depending on your text layer you can increase the text size. Align the text to center. Here you can reduce the leading value between the text. Perfect. We will pre-compose this text layer. I will name it as title. Here we will add the metal image to the timeline. Place it below text layer. Scale it to fit the screen. Let's pre-compose it. I will name it as metal image. For image composition, change track mat to alpha mat title. For metal image composition, in effects and preset, search for curves, add curves to composition. Here you need to adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now let's change the metal image composition to 3D, and title composition to 3D. Here you can create duplicate of title composition, or you can add title composition to timeline. Change it to 3D. For this composition, in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the composition. Change fill color to black. In effects and preset, search for bevel alpha. Add it to the composition. Here we will change edge thickness to 1. Now we will create duplicate of this title composition. Here we will create near about 8 duplicates. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicates. You can increase the number of duplicates to create more shadow or 3D effect. Select all the title compositions. Press P to bring up position. Here we will change the position value for Z axis. For each title composition, we will increase position value by 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 
Here you can see the 3D effects. Now select all the compositions. Pre-compose them. Name it as text layer. For this composition, in effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the composition. Slightly adjust the curves. Now open the title composition. We will copy this text layer, press Ctrl plus C to copy it. In trailer title composition, we will paste it, press Ctrl plus V to paste it. For this text layer. In text, press Alt key, and click on the stopwatch of source text. Here we will enter the script, comp. Here we need to enter the composition name. Where the text layer is preset, in my case it is, title. Now, layer. Here we need to enter the text layer name, this name. Here you can copy the name. paste it. Now, if you change the text here, automatically, the text in this composition is changed. We will be using the text layer as a guide layer for Saber effect, so it's important. For text layer, in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to text layer. Change color to black. In effects and preset, search for bevel alpha, add it to text layer. Change edge thickness to 1.4. Change light angle to 130. Light intensity to 0.30. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as Sable layer. In effects, from video copilot, select Saba. Here we will select preset, simple orange. In customize core, change core type to text layer. Change text layer to, text layer. Now let's animate the Saba effect. At start of the timeline, create keyframe for mask evolution. At end of the timeline, Change mask evolution to 1, which is 360 degrees. Change start size to 15. At start. Create keyframe for start offset. Change it to 30%. At end of the timeline. Change start offset to 60%. You can see the preview. This create moving outline for our title. Let's make few more changes. Change end size to 120. In render setting, change composition settings to transparent. Change end offset to 0%. Change halo size to 25%. Let's change the Saba layer to 3D. Also change text layer and text layer composition to 3D. For Saba layer, change mode to add. Here we have the two options, hide the text layer and make the 3D text layer visible. Or keep the title and change title mode to add, for this demo, I will hide the title layer. You can see the Saber outlines. Now we will create shadow effects for our title. If you don't want to add the shadow effect, then you can skip this step. Create duplicate of Saber layer. For duplicate layer, 
press R to bring up rotation, for X rotation, change value to minus 80 degrees. Now press P to bring up the position. Adjust the position value for Y axis. For Sable layer. In effects and preset, search for fast blur. Here you can also add the fast blur box, but here we will add fast blur legacy. Adjust the blurriness. Let's create duplicate of fast blur. Let's adjust the blurriness. For Sable layer, press T to bring up opacity, adjust opacity to near about 30%. Here you can adjust the position according to your text layer. You can also adjust the rotation value. For this text layer, let's create a new camera layer. Create new null object. Change it to 3D. Now parent camera to null object. For null object, press P to bring up the position. At end of the timeline, create keyframe for position, at start of the timeline. Increase position value for z-axis as shown. Perfect. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's see the preview. Similarly, you can create multiple titles, and create your trailer. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.